The Chinese government has suspended the work of the scientist who claims to have used gene editing technology to alter embryos. He Jiankua made headlines this week when he announced the birth of twin girls whose embryos he had altered with a technique called CRISPR. Roland Pease is the host of the BBC's Science in Action. He joins us from London. Roland, uh, what more do we know, first of all, about the suspension of the scientist's work and the government's investigation? I have to say, given that his work was sort of unofficial in the first place, the university he works at uh, said that it wasn't being done with fair approval. Uh, it's, it's difficult to know quite how this would be stopped, but on the other hand, I cannot imagine him being able to continue the work at the moment, though he did report at the conference that there is another mother with a so-called chemical pregnancy. In other words, uh, it would register on a pregnancy test, but you don't know that it's confirmed. So that's going to be an additional worry that there could be a, a further child. But meanwhile, he is facing condemnation from scientists. And at the Human Genome Editing Summit in Hong Kong yesterday, he publicly defended his work, saying that this would help protect the girls from HIV. The summit organizers now have also condemned him. They want an independent verification of his claims. What's, what's the reaction been like? Well, the reaction is, is one of hor horror. It's hard to know where to start. Um, I, I guess there are two really essential things. This is a new technique, CRISPR editing. It's been tried experimentally with human embryos, never to be implanted, but just as uh, uh, permitted research in the lab, in test tubes and the like, um, because it's got so many complications about it. And the second one is this idea that you can protect children against HIV with this particular edit he's talking about. We can talk about that if you want. It, it's, it's not necessary. Children can be born without HIV, without this edit. So there is no necessity for this kind of experiment. And these are the sort of the, the two principal criticisms. But did this edit, uh, the, the scientists say, would um, protect the children from HIV for their entire lives, right? It would make it so that they couldn't get it. Well, it does it because it interferes with a protein, uh, forgive the name, CCR5, which is one of several proteins involved in the immune system. Um, in Europeans, often this comes in a variant which is resistant to HIV. Um, in uh, Africans, for example, it uh, doesn't have that variant. In China, it doesn't have that variant. But uh, it has other purposes. So they have no idea, I'd argue, what other implications that has for the, for the girl's immune system. What's more, um, comments which I've been seeing online are suggesting that the edits are not the kind of controlled edits which he intended. There are more bits cut out from the gene than, than you might expect. There are bits which are added in, they don't know where they come from. So this is a mess. Um, and the data are really quite sparse. So it's very difficult at the moment to know exactly what the effect is. But there is no need. You can actually avoid HIV. There are treatments, obviously, for HIV. But there's uh, the girl's father had HIV. But the way that they did the in vitro fertilization, which is to clean up the sperm in the first place, meant they would be protected from this. So this, there are all sorts of genetic diseases which you might argue down the road it could be justifiable to try this kind of gene editing on. Um, but no one. No one um, that I've come across thinks that this is a good use of it, particularly when it's so risky. Well, whatever the use of it is, this is a very controversial uh, scientific advancement. How is he able to get so far along with it without being stopped or at least having, you know, authorities come in and say, should we really be doing this? It's, it's a very good question, because if there's absolutely no way this could happen in the United Kingdom, I think probably no way anywhere in, in Europe. Um, the reason being that this is a very experimental technique. Uh, the idea is you go in and you change a letter or two in the genetic code and something will be improved. But all the experiments, particularly that I've seen with human eggs, is that they, you get all kinds of odd bits of damage. Um, so partly, he, he wasn't working at the university, that's an odd idea in the first place. This wasn't done at his own university hospital, as I understand it. Um, he, uh, how he recruited the parents who wanted to take part in this is very unclear. Uh, you know, it, it's, these are questions which are really important because in China this is supposedly not legal and yet he was able to do it. How on earth it was possible? Uh, and you, you may be aware that 120 Chinese scientists have written a statement saying this is bringing the, the field into disrepute and it's bringing their researchers, Chinese scientists, into disrepute. So I think there's going to be a lot of anger 
uh, amongst the experts in China as well as the rest of the world. Well, and he was in Hong Kong at this uh, gathering of other scientists. Has he gone back to the mainland? I mean, is he is he is he safe from the government at this point? Uh, that I honestly don't know uh, where his whereabouts were. There was a sort of a, a brief moment at the beginning of present his presentation where he sort of was missing. People were wondering where he was. He was mm -hmm. late for his own presentation and very nervous. And I. Uh, sort of imagine that he, he thought he would be welcomed, maybe. He, he, he seems to be quite um, uh, p pleased with himself in doing this, and then he suddenly found out that the world was hating him for this. So uh, he, he's got to be worried, but there are also children involved, with, and that's one of the really important things. These children may or may not have these edits. That's not even clear, to be honest. Um, their, uh, uh, their safety, their welfare is incredibly important in all of this, um, and he cannot sort of walk away from his responsibilities. Are you seeing, uh, Roland, any scientists out there who are saying this is great, what an amazing achievement uh, that he's had here? Uh, no, I think the nearest I've seen to that is that some people think that this so-called germline um, editing of humans may be useful in the future. So in other words, uh, you, you could put implanted edited cells into some tissue or other to try and, uh, for example, I don't know, correct for cystic fibrosis or something like that. And that would just go into the lungs. It wouldn't affect anything else in, in, in the patient. This idea of doing it at the embryo stage is very controversial, not just because it's, um, uh, it's complicated, but also because actually, if you have a disease, let's say like muscular dystrophy, which is a genetic inherited condition, the first step to do in any case is um, in vitro fertilization, in other words, test your baby, you do pre-implantation genetic diagnosis, you check the genes, which is what was done in this case as well. And you can find the patients or the babies, the embryos, which don't have the problem, and then they can be born quite normally without any intervention. And it's not clear at this point um, whether you would ever want to intervene. There are some people who are saying, let's keep that door open. So what happens next? What's the next step here? Um, there have to be investigations. The, the university has to investigate. There has to be a thorough um, understanding of what the science is behind this what the condition of the girls is. They have to be kept, um, you know, their privacy has to be respected. If this has happened, they are living with untold uh, problems potentially down the line. We, you know, obviously their health is incredibly important. Um, there has to be, I think, some kind of international regulations. This is no longer a question of moratoriums among scientists saying, oh, we won't do this, because it hasn't worked. Those moratoriums were in place and they've been ignored in this case. So I think uh, 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 there needs to be a really...